Right, uh, so what I've got here is uh, I've got a transformer it's, uh, that basically I'm pulsing at resonant frequency of 15.78 kilohertz with a square wave and on the other side I've just got my uh, oscilloscope hooked up just to make sure I could get the, uh, the best frequency out and then I've also taken one wire all the way around to one side of a neon and then into a capacitor. Now from that capacitor on the other side I've taken a lead going all the way around and into my voltmeter. So we're still on one wire at the moment. And then I've taken the other side of that voltmeter back round and to a, a bifilia coil that I've wound where I've uh, touched either of the ends of the bifilia and then uh, had the output come straight round to this capacitor here I thought I should start uh, tuning it and uh, using two capacitors and a coil which is one to one now uh, what I found is the voltage is going up on this capacitor here and it's, it's a big capacitor as well I'll be able to show you when it gets up to about 100 volts lights in the bulb and it looks like we're getting 165 volts roughly through that neon and capacitor and it's all travelling down one wire. There is a, there is no ground on this whatsoever. And we're getting charging, and it's charging not too bad either. Normally it takes quite a while to uh, charge one of these capacitors as it is. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until that gets up to about 115 volts and then discharge a bulb through it and now uh, I think what we've got here then is uh, one wire electricity yeah, transfer or energy transfer so I'm going to wait for that to go up now got to uh, 70.9 volts at the moment so it's taking ages to get up there but uh, it does take quite a while to charge this capacitor. So, something I've done uh, whilst it's been charging is the two that I'd hooked up, I've hooked up alongside one of the inputs to the capacitor. So, I think I uh, hooked up the bifilia wrong, so it was, uh, it was only going up slowly, or if, uh, or if this is just the uh, better way of hooking it up. But uh, apart from that, we're, uh, we're still getting roughly 160, 165, just going through the one wire. I've uh, screwed the uh, neon in there because uh, it kept on uh, slipping off. So uh, we're at 71.9 now, 72 volts. I'm just going to wait for that to uh, rise a bit more and then uh, we're going to test the light bulb on it and I'm hoping that it's got enough energy that uh, we've stored just from that one wire that we're transmitting down and uh, we can prove that it's a uh, real energy that's going down that one wire right I thought that the uh, the multimeter might be sapping some of the energy too so what I've done is I've put a couple of leads across it and I've found that uh, it goes up much quicker now so we should get there quite soon so something else I noticed is uh, so that drifted down a couple of times I had to knock it back up to the 15.78 so we're uh, trying to keep it all even so 
I'm just going to have to wait for that to, uh, I might wait for it to go a bit higher now, I can see it's going quicker. So we have a 240 volt bulb here, I'm going to use a 100 watt one. I'm going to come back to you uh, when we're at a nice higher voltage. Right, it's got up to uh, 117.8. Point nine, 118. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stop it in a second and then uh, discharge that light bulb that we've got there uh, from this capacitor that we've just charged up uh, using the one wire. And see how much power we've actually managed to transfer. So that's 120, so that's uh, half what we normally use. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch that off, disconnect the one wire, and then carefully. Cut one of them and then carefully hook up the other one. Yep, yeah, see that? That's definitely uh, usable power the other end. So I'm very pleased at that. But uh, we can use just the uh, one wire to transfer energy. Now, uh, the Transformer's not even warm, to be honest, and this one's cold as well. Uh, this I don't think will have anything in it. Uh, I'll just check by showing it out. Definitely nothing in it. But I find that very interesting. But uh, we can use just one wire. To transfer the energy if you use the resonant frequency. So, uh, thanks for watching.